My name is Rebecca Hall, and I'll be walking you through the basics of starting to use Redman Web. Open redman.cochrane.org in your browser and log in with your Cochrane account. On the first page, you'll see a list of all the reviews you're an author on. From this list, you can access both Cochrane reviews and non-Cochrane reviews. The organization logo indicates which organization the review belongs to. And you can also see an indicator for the contact person of the review. Click a title to open the review. When you open a review, you're editing a live version of it and you and your co-authors can collaborate on creating content. In the right hand top corner, you can see who's currently active in the review at any moment. You can use the left hand navigation to access all the content of the review. Under review information, you can, for example, edit the author affiliation and dates and events. In the text sections, you can edit the review article. As you can see, if I add some text, you can see that there's an indicator showing when all your changes are saved. You can use the context panel to um, access content of the review uh, that's relevant for you when you're writing the article. For example, you can open a forest plot. Reviews using study-centric data will have a section called Review Criteria. This section is a stepping stone towards defining your analysis and helps you structure data around the studies. This is also where you would set up your study characteristic and risk of bias settings at the start of the review. There is more information about study-centric data management in the Redmond Web Knowledge Base. From the Studies section, you can import references in bulk, and you can also manage all the data relating to your studies. You can import all types of study data from the action menu on the dashboard from common formats such as CSV and RIS. References for the article that are not study references can be added under other references. Here you can also import references in bulk. In the analysis section, you can add and create pairwise meta-analysis and generate forest plots to visualize the results. You can also include risk of bias assessments in the forest plots. You can see here, this is the data table for the analysis, the options for it. And if we go to the graphs, you'll see the forest plot and the risk of bias judgments. In tables, you can add additional tables or summary of finance tables. For Cochrane reviews, you can create summary of findings tables managed by GradePro. This integration allows you to, on demand, pull in data from Redman to GradePro to make sure that your summary of findings table is always up to date. In the figure section, you can generate figures based on data in the review. For example, risk of bias summary and funnel plots. You can also generate flow diagrams to inform um, about the review. In appendices, you can add content such as the search strategy. But let's now go back to the dashboard to show you some of the features that are helpful for, for you throughout your review process. The validation report can flag issues with your review that you need to attend to before submitting. The history contains all the saved versions of your reviews. You can tag a version to save it 
and this enables you to use all of the features that are available in the history panel. As you can see, if I select a version, I can access some different features. For example, I can view the review as a whole, which allows me to read the review article. You can compare different versions between each other to see the differences. And you can also revert to previous versions or delete versions. This is only true for versions that aren't the current version, of course. The history also has an export feature that allows you to export data from your review. This means that you can share data from reviews, your reviews to others in helpful formats that can be used in other tools such as CSV and RIS. When your review is ready for submission, you can use the submit current version to download the submission files. The help menu is a good place to look for advice as you can find links to the knowledge base, Cochrane handbook, and you can also report a problem or suggest improvements to RefmanWeb. Thank you for listening to this quick start guide of RefmanWeb.